Greetings, Sekiro Goru here. And from Soft have seen my videos, seen the chaos that we've been causing with my guys and how to glitch bosses and so forth. And now they've just released patch 1.03. They've targeted the key platforms, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. So all of them. Some of the notes we've been able to translate are that they've adjusted the efficiency and the spirit emblem costs of the following to encourage usage and diversity of approach. The prosthetic tools, the lazulite sacred flame, the loaded axe, the sparking axe, and the lazulite axe. Also the combat arts, the Ashina cross, the dragon flash, the one mind, floating passage, spiral cloud passage, mortal draw, and empowered mortal draw. So basically they just want you to use these goddamn moves and weapons more than we've been doing. So maybe now they don't suck and they've cost less spirit emblems to use. So now you've got some motivation to whip out your axe. They've also reduced the posture damage dealt by the first hit of the combat art, Senpu leaping kicks, and high monk. Because apparently they were causing more damage than they intended in certain cases. They've increased the poison buildup dealt by the prosthetic tool Sabi Maru against enemies that were intended to be weak against it. Another positive one is they've increased the drop rate of Divine Confetti for fences in Ashina Castle. And they've adjusted loading screen tips and tutorial text, as well as adding new texts. Apparently a lot of people were having trouble with the Blazing Bull because they've reduced his posture and vitality, so he'll be slightly easier to defeat now, if you were sucking. They've also lowered the price of information sold by Aniyama the Peddler, as it was a rip-off. What they should have added was a threat, where if Aniyama didn't give you the information, you'd take his head off. Now apparently the chained ogre inside Ashina Castle is also now red-eyed. There was a bug where a system crashes could cause save data to become corrupted on PC that they fixed. And sadly, for people following the Goru strategies for certain bosses, they fixed the bug where certain enemies would sometimes stop attacking the player. This will certainly apply to Lone Shadow Masanaga when you knock him away from the flaming buildings down the stairs or he suddenly just stopped attacking you. That will no longer work if you update the game. And this also most certainly applies to Orin of the Water, who also, if you just dragged her away from her main area, would glitch out and stop attacking you. So if you update the game, my two imperative guides to cheesing those bosses will no longer work. Maybe if the Goru's got time, I'll go back and come up with new cheating strategies for people who foolishly updated the game. But we're hearing reports that apparently the uh, Demon of Hatred still will just fall off the edge and commit suicide if you climb up onto the wall. So either they intended that to be in there, or they just haven't got round to fixing it yet. We haven't confirmed these reports though. But they also claim to have fixed certain bugs that were allowing the player to access unexpected areas, which could result in becoming unable to obtain items or make further progress. I don't think that applies to any of my cheating guides. And then in general, they've just improved the stability and the performance and other bug fixes. You know you've applied the update if at the corner of the title screen it says at version 1.03. You know, this game does not need to be online, so to stop it updating, if you're on PC, just don't set your Steam to stay offline. The PlayStation and the Xbox just don't go onto their live modes. Or you could just man up and try and beat the bosses without the cheating Goru strategies. Not all the Goru strategies were glitches though, some were genuinely intended and you could tell. But for sure, a couple of them were. And with powerful patch 1.03, you may be screwed you accidentally updated. Say no to patch 1.03. But we have a playthrough planned where I, the guru, the guru, will go through the game and show you how it's done. Still get comments of people saying they can't make my cheats work, that I got lucky, or I have a glitchy version of the game. These people can't follow a guide correctly. So maybe step by step, on a video, live maybe, you'll see how it's done. So stay tuned for the new Sekiro Goru playthrough coming soon to Channel Dragon. And I'll probably have to beat the game for Throthgar too because he sucks and he can't beat the last boss because he's lazy and doesn't want to learn even my strategy, which wasn't difficult. And there are lots of people like that. I see them in the comments on the videos. So he's not alone. 
Everybody wants a cheating strategy where a boss commits suicide. It's not possible for all of them. Don't forget to subscribe to check out more of my guides and secrets. And check out the Rage playthrough of an inept angry player who will be really angry that some of these glitches have been fixed. And he definitely wouldn't have updated the game. Farewell for now. Kick him! Bye! Robert's not coming to save you now! You can't! Get out of there, ninja!